I'm Stacy, and welcome to the Retro Time Machine. And today, we're going to be making an old school classic favorite. So fudge frosting, or boiled frosting, as some of you might know it as. It is super easy to make, and a vintage kitchen staple. For today's recipe, you're going to need cocoa powder, sugar, butter, milk, a little bit of salt, vanilla, and a digital thermometer. Start off by measuring out three cups of sugar. Go ahead and add in three tablespoons of butter. One cup of whole milk. Six tablespoons of cocoa powder. Just a dash of salt. Now go ahead and move that over to your stove top and start mixing those ingredients together. That cocoa powder will definitely take a little bit of work, but once you do, it should look something like this. For this recipe, our goal temperature is about 227 to get that perfect caramelized look. You can see we're starting to get a soft boil here, so we're working it up. Then you're gonna let that boil for about a minute, take it off the heat, and start to cool it down. This process takes some effort. Once everything has cooled down just a little bit, you're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. You can see I didn't wait long enough as it started to boil with the alcohol content, but that's okay, it still tastes delicious. So here I'm using a wire whisk just to really move that liquid around. You can see it has a really high shine to it still. And eventually as it starts to cool, you'll notice that shine slowly starts to disappear. Here you can see it's a little less shiny. We're almost getting to that point and everything is starting to thicken up. It takes a lot of work, but don't rush it. Just keep mixing. See how it's getting a little thicker there? Now here you can tell it's really thickened up and most of that shine that you saw in that first clip is really gone. Also, it starts to stick to the edges of your pot, so that's when you know it is time to grab your sheet cake and carefully pour this delicious chocolate fudge boiled frosting on top. Any of this yummy gooiness that doesn't come out of your pan, go ahead and scrape it out onto a piece of wax paper. Here you can see the fudge consistency. It's breaking, but it's not too hard. It still has a nice pliable texture to it. And that's definitely what you want. You want it to kind of snap when you cut it, but also be soft to the touch. Now this is perfectly good for eating right here and a great snack. Here you can see how beautiful that crust is. I did use a more flexible pan, so we got some cracks in it when I was moving it around, but still tastes the same. If you do this in a glass sheet, it will definitely hold up a little bit better and give you that nice mirrored glaze. This was one of my grandmother's recipes, and my sister has spent most of her life trying to perfect it, and she gave me her recipe, so I'm sharing this here. Basically, it's a really great family recipe that I have that I wanted to share with you guys. Absolutely will remind you of your grandmother's kitchen and you need to share it with your friends. Like always, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care and God bless and eat up. <laughs>